Hello, Andrea. Hello, How teacher. How are you? Fine. Okay, what about your weekend? How was it? Good, so so. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think that my internet connection is unstable. Okay. So let okay. me. See. Yeah, give me one second. Okay. So yeah, I was asking you how was your weekend? Good. So so. Did you go out? Um. Cool. And I visit my family in okay. Really. Yes. When on Saturday or yesterday? Yesterday. Perfect. That is good. Okay. And what do you do? What do you eat? Uh okay. Yeah. No, um, what do you eat? What do you eat? ¿Qué comió? Uh um, carne asada. Okay. How do you say carne asada? Yes. So in this case, uh, first of all, I ate. Mm -hmm. uh, I ate. El pasado de eat is ate. Eight. Mm -hmm. So carne asada puede decir grilled meat. Uh, grilled grill? grilled meat. Gr grilled meat. Grilled. Milled. No, grilled. Grilled. Meat. Okay, meat. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. So let's see. Um, hello, Karen. Oh. Um. I think that we cannot hear you, Karen. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Now it is better. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, what do you do during the weekend? Okay, in the weekend, uh, Saturday, I rest in my home with my boy. Okay. And, and Sunday, I went to the church with my family. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you had a really busy weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, so I can see that we also have Rafael. Good evening in Salvador. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good. And you? I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm good. You know, uh, today is 27th, right? We are finishing almost, right? February. So on Wednesday, we are starting a new month. So I think that that is good, right? And of and course, really guys... Good. Yeah, this is the last week that we are going to have classes, right? So uh, we are going to be taking advantage of the time and we are going to learn as much as we can, right? So then uh, what do you do during the weekend, Rafael? Uh, well, that's funny because I lose, I... Me perdí. <laughs> I, I got lost. Yeah, yeah. Uh... In some place of the Libertad, uh, oh, I, oh my God, I, I went, went, no, I went, I went to go to Talmani, Talmanique. Oh, okay. So you wanted and, to go. Yeah. And I, um, uh, I choose another way and, and terminé en Dios sabe dónde. <laughs> <laughs> y 40 minutos después logré re retornar al camino correcto. Oh my. Pero that's funny. Yes, but okay. You gotta be careful, Rafael. I try. All right. You know, uh, yeah, I have visited Tamanique. Those are waterfalls, I think. Um, for, for me, is the, it like a city? 
No, I, I interested in the way because mm. uh, the the route the route have a, a many curvas curves. Uh, yes, correct. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's interesting for motorcycles. <laughs> Got it. Okay, Rafael. Yeah. Okay, so now I understand. Okay, but all right. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Okay, but that's awesome. I think that that was an adventure, right? So it was something different, but okay. So okay. very good. You enjoy it. That's what really matters. Okay. Okay. So what about you, Salvador? How are you? I'm very well, teacher. Okay. And what about your weekend? How was it? Great. It was great. Okay. And what did you do? On Saturday, I went with my, my son mm -hmm. to play soccer. Okay. And, and, yeah. mm -hmm. and Sunday, I I all, always we go, we yes. siempre vamos yes. con mi familia a la iglesia. We always go to the church on Sundays. Mm. Got it. Okay. That's perfect. All right. So thank you, Salvador. I can see that we also have Carlos Dominguez. How are you, Carlos? Is Carlos Dominguez there? Well, probably no, he's not there. Well, I think that, it will, well, Elisa is connecting. Okay, guys, so we are going to start with today's class and we are going to start with the following, okay? So today we are going to um, cover Unit 4, some um, information from Unit 4, and we also have extra information, which is about vocabulary and different activities. You will see, okay? So the first thing that I'm going to ask you is this, all right? Do you think you are a patient person? Yes or no, and why, or why not? Mm -hmm. So think about that. I'll give you 10 seconds, okay? Do you think you are a patient person? And I need you to please explain to us why you consider that you are patient, right? Okay, I'll give you one minute. Think about it, okay? Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. So who wants to um who wants to participate, guys? Um, let me see. Okay, so um, Eulise. Eulise, do you think you are a patient person? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. I am. Mm -hmm. Why? Because um, a different situation, uh, I would like to... Mm -hmm. To try a, a patient. Mm. I know, no. Mm. I was. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, different situation. Mm -hmm. uh, could be uh, difficult, mm -hmm. but I try to uh, try to. It probably remain calm. You, how do you say tener paciencia? Trato de tener paciencia. Yeah. So you need to, uh, you need, or you try to have patience. Okay. I try yeah. to. To have patience. I, I have patience. Okay. All right. Perfect. What about you, Hosman? Do you think you are a patient person?
Good evening. Good evening. Uh, yes. Why? Yes, I am the uh, uh, because of some different moment um, on situation in my job and family, uh, and I practice the patient because okay. the the have the equilibrium. Okay, a balance. A barring. Uh, balance and the the sorry. Balance. Balance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um the and the health of the the need the person. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you are you are a patient person. Okay. All right. So guys, there is actually a difference between patients and patient, right? So patience is paciencia and patient is paciente okay yeah so you have patience if you are patient yeah okay perfect so let me see what about you salvador are you a patient person i try to have patient mm -hmm. i i don't like problem with other person Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, excellent. Then today we are going to start by talking about this, okay? Uh, first, let's read something. Rafael, can you please help us reading everything? Okay, teacher. Uh, things that text that, that test your patience. Run the things that might test your patience from one to 10, with one being the thing that annoys you the most. You the most. Annoys, annoys? Yeah, annoys you. Annoys you the most, then compare you as well with a partner. Okay, let's, let's read. People who work slowly, a uh, slow internet connection, ah, that's right. Taxi drivers who don't know the best route. Mm -hmm. When you take uh, take out delivery, takes much longer than they say. Back backseat drivers being stuck stuck in traffic. When people take the ele elevator to the second floor, having to re-explain yourself yourself if if someone doesn't understand. I mean my Yes, My glasses. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, okay. It's okay. Uh, internet put out windows mm -hmm. when you wait some, for someone to answer a message. Perfect. All right, guys. So those are examples of things that test your patience, okay? So let's see. What about people who walk as slowly? Does it taste your patience or that doesn't matter to you? Yeah, of course. It matters? Yes? It is a matter to me. <laughs> okay, it does matter for you. Okay. What about a slow internet connection? Another problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So what about taxi drivers or drivers in general who don't know the best route? Okay. <laughs> this one could be sometimes because if you need to get to work like early and the person, the driver takes another route, that is a big inconvenience, right? Could be. Okay, what about this one? When you take out delivery, right, takes much longer, right, than they said. When you order food, does it taste your patience or you are really patient in this situation? You wait and it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. One time didn't come. Okay, so sorry about that. 
Correct. No problem. But did they give you the refund? I mean, did you pay it? I I not paying anything. You didn't. Okay. Uh, uh, how do you say contra entrega? Uh, probably I'm not really sure. Contra entrega. Ah, so you pay when they deliver the order. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. So yeah, you didn't pay anything because it never arrives. Got it. All right. So then what about backseat drivers? What is the meaning of backseat drivers? The backseat drivers, for example, on this picture, guys, she is the backseat driver. So is the person that goes in the backseat. Okay. I am a backseat driver. <laughs> okay. Okay, Rafael. So sometimes I think that mm, can be whenever you are like talking too much and probably the, the person, the driver is really focused, right? Or concentrated on something. Could be, right? Now, what about being stuck in traffic? Does it taste your patience? Every single day, right? Yes. For some of you, every single day. Yes. Okay, so when people take the elevator to the second floor. Now, right. That one, I think that no. Okay, what about this one? Having to re-explain, right? Having to re-explain yourself if someone doesn't understand. Does it taste your patience at work? Be honest. Uh-huh. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay. Whenever you need to re-explain, right? Uh -huh. Sometimes could be, right? Well, it depends on the type of job that you have, right? Mm -hmm. I think that um, in the case, if you are a supervisor, um, this shouldn't test your patience, right? But sometimes it does, right? What about this one? Internet pop-up windows. Sometimes, yes, because you don't know why it's not working, right? And it's because of that or why it's not open something. And it is because of that, I think, right? Because of the internet pop-up, yeah. So, and when you wait for someone to answer a message. No. When somebody doesn't answer, uh, probably a message, a really important message that you have sent to them? You wait patiently. Perfect, guys. I'm really happy because I do have a lot of patient people here. Okay, very good. All right. In a moment, teacher, <laughs> in a moment yes. for my life, uh, that's a, a problem. Okay. But now, uh, no, not really. Okay, so that was I, the problem. Uh -huh. Yeah, if the people don't answer, I, mm -hmm. I'll take a resolution. Mm -hmm. And y lo hago, yeah. Si it después viene, uh -huh. yes, si después viene un reclamo es, mira, se te consultó. Okay. No, no, no contestaste, entonces el proceso debe de continuar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that that is the best solution sometimes, right? If you know what to do, of course, right? Yeah, excellent. Okay, guys, what about the other ones? What about you, eh, Salvador, Ana, Hosman, Andrea, Eulise, Raul, Wilbur, Susana, Karen, Edwin? Okay, I have Carlos Dominguez, Rose, Nelson, Carlos Arias. What about you guys? Mm -hmm. what Hi, teacher. Question. Yeah. What things test your patience from here or the ones that you have in mind? Uh, well, let me see. Mm -hmm. For example, the backseat drivers. Okay. In my case, I never have a, a, a bad, a bad. Uh, experience mm -hmm. 
when I when I take a, a, a Uber, for example, but I hear uh, some friend of mine that they have that they that they uh, they have a bad experience in inside on the car okay that the <laughs> all, all the back seat uh, driver is 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 dirty or or or, or bad mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> and they put uh one star in the application after oh the God. after the 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 driver finish okay all right so I think that this one is very, uh, the backseat drivers is kind of uh, sometimes dangerous, right? It could be. Okay, so it depends. But yes. All right, guys. So right now, let's move and let's talk about some adjectives. Yeah, let's talk about vocabulary. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes. So we have ten adjectives right here. What is the meaning? of Krabi. What is Krabi? What is it? Mm -hmm. What is Krabi? Gruñón. Gruñón. Very good. Krabi is gruñón. What is the meaning of even-tempered? Even-tempered. Mm -hmm. When somebody is even tempered, that means that that person that person is really uh, relaxed, right? Yeah, even tempered means tranquilo, calmar. That type of person that is very, very, I don't know. Um, Hey, relax, right? He or she doesn't complain about anything. What about forgiving? What is forgiving? Olvidadizo? No, that is forgetful. Perdonador. Okay, yes. Forgiving is that person that forgives so easily. Perdonador, yes. Mm -hmm. You need to be forgiving. Right. You need to be forgiving if you want to live a happy life. Yes. What about this one? Rauchi. Rauchi. What is it? Malhumorado. Yes, correct. It is malhumorado. We all know this type of person, right? Who is crabby. Rauchy. What about, well, this one, you know what that is, right? It's almost the same. Irritable. Mm -hmm. We also have placid. What is placid? What is placid? Placid is someone uh, who is apacible. It's almost the same as even temperate. They are synonyms. Mm -hmm. Placid. What about restless? Restless. Inquieto. Inquieto. All right. So restless is a person that is really impatient. Inquieto. Restless. Tolerant, you know what that is? Tochi. We all know people that are tochi. What is the meaning of tochi? Tochi means delicado or quisquilloso. That person that is really delicate, right? Touchy. Mm -hmm. It's not the same that picky. Yes, but touchy is really negative, right? Is that type of person that is very delicate. Picky is something, uh, could be positive, 
not that negative, but touchy, yes, is negative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And understanding? Understanding? Comprensible. Comprensible. Comprensible, okay? That type of person that is very understanding, okay? That you can you talk to that person and that person is going to understand things easily without complications, right? All right, yes, so then, yes? And the person que se fija en todos los detalles, pero ya desde un punto de vista más positivo. Como detallista, mm -hmm. que le gusta que las cosas se hagan de la mejor manera. Yes, you are really, I would say, attentive to detail. Okay. Yeah. Don't have a word for a specific person, for this specific person. Detallista. But there is an, yes, there is one, but I don't remember even in Spanish. There is one. There is one word for that type of people that they are really attentive to detail. Let me remember about that, okay? But yes, there is a word. Podría ser como minucioso. Yes, could be, but there is a word. Yeah, they look on the on the job posts. They look for people that have this this uh, skill, but I don't remember. But yes, I will look for it and I will tell you. Okay. So then, let's see characteristics of patient people. Okay. So let's see positive. From those ten, which go here. Even temper. Okay, even temper, correct. Maybe. Yes. Even temper is correct. Uh -huh. What else? Placid. Placid as well. Yes. What else? Forgiving. Forgiving. Yes, you're missing two. Understanding. Understanding and tolerant. Perfect. Tolerant. Yes, and what about the characteristics of impatient people? Dochi. 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 Restless. 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 Irritable. Dochi. Irritable. Dochi. Yes, Dochi. You see, those are negatives. Yeah, because those um, denotate that you are impatient. So from those 10 uh, additives, which ones do you have in your personality? Mm -hmm. At least two, mention two. Uh, let me see, let me ask. Um, Carlos Arias, can you please let us know? Which two understanding are yeah. and placid. And placid. Placid. Yes. Placid. placid. Okay. Very good. What about you, Nelson? Mm -hmm. Repeat me the question, please. Yes. I was asking you from those adjectives, the, the ones uh, that we have seen, can you please mention two that you have in your personality? Even temp tempered, 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 and um, tolerant. And tolerant, okay, that's good. All right, perfect. What about you, Anna? In my case, I am restless. Restless? Uh, yes, restless and understanding. And understanding. Okay, perfect. And what about you, Hoseman? I am tempered. Um, classic. And placid. Okay, very good. And what about you, Susana? I am um, understanding, 
understanding and tolerant. And tolerant. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. So now, okay, now what is the meaning of crabby? What is crabby? Enojado. Gruñón. Gruñón. Enojado. Okay. So whenever you don't sleep well, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or uh, grouchy, right? Whenever you don't sleep well or irritable, right? Okay. So now let's see. We also have some expressions that we can use with patience. Yeah, as you can see, it says complete the definitions with the verbs below. Exhaust, lack, lose, Low. require, run out. out, and try. Run out and try. Number one. It says to not have enough patience. patience. Which one? Which from those six? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, let's move to number two, okay? So what about this one? It says, to cause someone to be annoyed oh. to see if they get angry. Exhaust? Mm. No. Not exactly. Number no, no. one is loose. Loose. loose but... Mm, no. Not exactly. Maybe run Require? out. Mm, run out the the first one. Run run out patience to not have yes. enough patience. Um no. Okay. What is to not have enough patience? It is going to be required. Mm, lack. 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 Okay. Yes, a lack, little patient. Yes, okay. Lack means falta de paciencia. Uh -huh. A la falta. Lack, faltar. Algo que falta. No es suficiente. Have, correcto. No. Okay. What about number two? The definition says to cause someone to be annoyed to see if they get angry. People sometimes do that. Uh -huh. Yes. Try. Correct. It is try. Try someone's patience. If you try someone's patience, so that means that you cause someone to be annoyed to see if they get angry. Sometimes people do that. They try, right, to see if you get angry. Mm -hmm. Number three, to not have any patience left. Any, any left. Run out. Run out. Run out. So run out of. So run out of means quedarse sin. Run out of patience, quedarse sin paciencia. Run out of money, quedarse sin dinero, right? Sometimes we run out of money, right? You run out of sugar, you run out of food, whatever thing, que se queda sin, right? Number four, to use up all your patience. To Why? use up. Loose. Uh -huh. Loose up. Use up. Loose. Use up. Uh -huh. um, require. Require. Yeah. Exhaust. Exhaust. Yes. You exhaust. Yeah. Yeah. Exhaust. Perfect. That is correct. What about number five? Loose. Correct. Lose. Be unable to keep your temper. You lose your patience. When you are not able to keep your temper, you have lost your patience. 
Number six. To need. Require. Yes, require. When you need something, you require that thing, right? Mm -hmm. So you see? Require patience. Lack patience. Try someone's patience. Run out of patience. Exhaust your patience. Lose your patience and require it. Patience. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Let's move. All right. Let's move. Uh, just let me erase this. All right. Let's move. Now we have idioms. Okay. Expressions that are so common, guys. So common in Spanish. All right. You are going to understand them so easily. Okay. Number one and two, please, Nelson. Number three and four, please, Holzman. Five and six, please, Anna. Help us reading. Okay, number one and two, correct? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, no sé cómo pronunciar ese primero, así contractado. It will. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It will take a while to do the work properly. I'm sure you understand. Rome wasn't built in a day. Mm -hmm. Don't get annoyed. I'm sure the plane will be here soon. Remember, patient is a virtue. Virtue. Thank you. Awesome. There will be a better opportunity to tell things the new you should buy your time. That's a very complicated this for beginner to cook. Mm -hmm. Don't try to drum before you can work. Okay. Uh, I'm optimistic about the move, but only time we know how things will work out. Mm -hmm. Two years uh, might seem like a long time, but I believe that things come to those who wait. Okay, so good things come to those, right? This one is beginner. Yeah, beginner, complicated. Okay, guys, so take a look at the underlying section, all right? It says, Rome wasn't built in a day. This is a common expression that we have even in Spanish, right? right. Also, number two, patience Teacher. is a virtue. Yes? Teacher. Yes. Uh, voy a apagar la cámara porque creo que mi internet se está poniendo lento. Okay, Wilbur, it's okay. Thank you. All right. So, yeah, I don't know if it is mine. Okay, but let me know if you're not able to listen to me. Okay, so patience is a virtue. That one is also a really common expression that we have. La paciencia es una virtud, right? So, buy your time. Buy your time means esperar su tiempo. Okay? Don't try to run before you can walk. Very common. Don't try to run before you can walk. And that is really true. Then we also have uh, this one. Only time will tell. A common expression, right? Only time will tell. El tiempo lo dirá. Common expression in Spanish, right? And the last one, good things come to those who wait. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's do something. I need you to create one sentence expressing, expressing a different situation, all right? So for example, as you can see right here, we have a common situation. Number one, it'll take a while to do the work properly. I'm sure you understand Rome wasn't built 
in a day. So you need to create one sentence, all right? Think about it. Do not type it, just create it here. And use Rome wasn't built in a day. Just think about a situation, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Susana, can you please help us with one example? Mm, I don't know. I don't learn all the rules about the lines driver. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, uh huh. Uh, but. Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> okay. Yes, could be. Very good. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now, patience is a virtue. Think about it. I will ask somebody else. Okay. Patience is a virtue. Okay. So let's see. Uh, Salvador, can you please help us with one example? Mm, second sentences? Yes. ¿En qué sentido? Disculpe. Casi no entiendo lo que Okay, patience is a virtue. You need to create a sentence, okay, with a different situation, and you need to use that idiom. Hmm? Mm. My son, eh, a, a mi hijo le cuesta hacer tareas. Mm -hmm. How can you say that? Try. Y yo le trato de ayudar. I try to help to my son to do homework. Okay. So... Patience is a virtue. So patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Okay. Yes. How do you say, um, a mi hijo le cuesta hacer las tareas? ¿Cómo podemos decir eso, guys? Remember, remember, guys. Something that you need to keep in mind is that you are not translating. No está traduciendo. You are ¿Qué está haciendo? Interpretando. ¿Ok? So, no traduzca. Interpreta. My son has trouble to do the homework. Ok. My son has troubles doing his doing homework. Doing his homework. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Or it could be, it is difficult for my son to complete his homework. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. So now let's see another example with don't try to run before you can walk. Okay, 10 seconds. Think about your idea. Mm. Okay. Rafael, help us with don't try to run before you can walk. Mm. If you want to be a successful, you need first to learn, be a, a better person. Don't try to run before you can walk. Okay, perfect. Yes, that is correct. Exactly. Um, it could be, uh, for example, when you are learning something new, right? When you are learning something really difficult, you need to start with the basic things. Don't try to run before you can walk, right? Mm -hmm. 
Now, only time will tell. Hmm? An example. Uh, I try. Go, I will listen. Um, you are telling me the truth, yes or not? Uh, okay. Um, I think uh, only the time will be. Will tell. Will tell. Will tell. Excellent. That is correct. If you are telling me the truth or not, who knows, right? Only time will tell. Perfect. Good things come to those who wait. And for this one, Nelson, good things come to those who wait. Mm -hmm. And yeah. for example, uh, you need to be to be patient. Mm -hmm. uh, to be patient and continue. Good things come to, to those who wait. Very good. That is correct. Good job. All right. So now let's see. We have from A to F. Right, so from A to F, we have the meanings of those idioms. What do you think is number one? Rome wasn't built in a day, from A to F. Mm -hmm. Don't try to run before you can walk. Mm. The number A, uh, the letter A. The letter A is don't try to run before you can walk. Yes, I okay. think. Yes. Okay. Let me let me add it. Okay. Okay. So letter A, this one. Okay. Perfect. Letter B. Great tasks take time and effort and should. Number not one. Okay. Number one. Number one. Okay. Let's. Uh, uh, that was letter B. Okay. Letter C. If you are patient, you will be rewarded. The last, number six. Number two. Okay. Two or six? Or, or three? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Number two. Mm -hmm. C, three or uh, number three. Two, three or six. By your time means que tiene que esperar su tiempo. Okay. No? Okay, let's continue with the ones that probably we know. Letter D, the ability to wait for something without. Becoming impatient is a valuable quality. I could say it's the, the number two. Number two. Okay. Number two? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, okay. Let's add number two. What about letter E? The truth or a result can only be known in the future. Number five. Yes, that was so easy. Number five, we tell. Yes. Number six, well, in this case, letter F, wait patiently for the right time to do something. Find your time. Correct. Okay. Let's see. So what about then number six? We are missing letter C. Mm -hmm. Like that, right? You will be rewarded. Good things come to those who wait. You will be rewarded, right? What is the meaning of rewarded? Dice que va a ser 
Ser recompensado, será recompensado. Correct. So good things come to those who wait, and that is true. So you should be patient. Be patient. No impatient. Okay. Very good. So let's move. Right, let's move. Let's start with the speaking time. We are going to practice for some minutes and then we are going to come back because we still have a lot of things to cover today. All right. So the first question is, is it important to be patient? Yes or no? Why? Or it depends. Do you have a lot of patience with repairing things? Or you are the person that says, no, nah, I will buy another one. I'm not going to complicate myself, right? Mm -hmm. Number three, how can you increase your patience? How can you increase it? Incrementarla, right? How can you increase it? I don't know, teacher, maybe meditating. Sleeping. Maybe sleeping, right? I don't know. Number four, do you think you are getting more patient or impatient as you get older? I hope patient, right? I hope. Okay. And then we also have, when was the last time you ran out of patience? Do you agree that good things come to those who wait? Or you differ on this one. You disagree. Because sometimes if you wait for something, mm, bad things can happen as well, right? You never know. So, or it depends on the situation as well, right? Or do you think that sometimes we don't need to wait? We need to be proactive and probably um, do different things proactively. I don't know. Okay, so what things do you think require a lot of patience? What things? Mm, a lot of different things, right? When it comes to work, probably different positions, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever you are probably a supervisor, right? When you are in a meeting, etc. I need to mention what things do you think require a lot of patience at work? or in your personal life, all right? Do you think that patience is a virtue? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And why, okay? So we're going to practice for around mm, eight to 10 minutes with those eight questions, all right? I need to practice, guys, practice, okay? So open the class as well, open the class. Uh, let me create the breakout rooms. Okay, here we go. Yeah, don't forget the... The word. The... the oh, share, the yes. Oh, share this. oh my God, yes. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to Yes. Oh, you uh, came back? I was. Yeah, I yes. was alone. Yeah, you were alone. Okay, Ulises. Give me one second, Ulises. Okay. Ah, you see Carlos Dominguez. Okay, I'm going to move you with Carlos Dominguez. But I don't see you. Ah, okay. All right. Yes. Mm 
Okay, man. Yes. For you, is it important to be patient? Yes, I think yes. Yes. Yeah. If you're not, if you not art, uh, patient. A patient, yeah, a person with passion. Maybe maybe you all the time uh, will be angry for anything. Uh -huh. Um, so when so the passion is important because uh, you can think about what you should do for every situation. Okay. Well, I you? think I think it's being it's important. Uh, because if you are are patient, uh, maybe you have uh, many troubles in your life. Uh, because if you are angry with all people, maybe someone uh Move your teeth out of your mouth. Oh, <laughs> uh, and that's important. For that. Yes. Well, it's the number two, right? So you have a lot of passion with repairing things. Uh, in my case, I sing when I don't have how to or how yeah how to repair something and uh, i try to to be passion now teacher what is the correct uh, pronunciation of patience patience okay patience patience patience, patience or patient patient okay so Patient. In my case, uh, when I don't have how repair something or anything, mm -hmm. I try to be patient and patient. Patient. <laughs> patient. Ah, patient. Uh -huh, like that. And and find maybe or or read how about uh, repairing something in specific. So I think I don't have patience when I am repaired. Something the first, uh, the first action. Uh, that I do is uh, uh, desarmar. No sé cómo puedo decir desar. ¿Cómo digo desarmar, teacher? Okay. Sorry. sorry. Uh, don't worry. Okay. Uh, dismantle. Ah. Dismantle. Okay. The first thing that I do is dismantle this mountain. This mountain. And uh, that uh, I buy. Let me see. Okay. Lo que compro yo lo desarmo siempre. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. What about you, Jose? What do you think? I. This month. I can. I. Yo puedo pasar como se dirá. Okay. All right. Sería así. Yo, ah, yo puedo pasar muchas horas arreglando una cosa. Lo único que me sobran piezas, mm -hmm. teacher. ¿Cómo se dice? <laughs> okay. All right. So, yo puedo hey, pasar. I, uh -huh. I, I, I can, can stay. Uh, no. Um, I can be. I can be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo puedo pasar mm -hmm. horas 
several time. Uh -huh. Several hours. Hours. Or a lot of time. Uh -huh. Okay, I can be a lot of time. Puedo pasar eh, mucho tiempo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Repair or repairing things. Re repairing. No, pero te cambia. Repairing But things. always I mm -hmm. lose the tools. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, solo que me sobran piezas, right? Mm -hmm. Eso, solo que me sobran piezas. Um, mm -hmm. You can say the only thing is that I have um extra pieces. Ah, very good. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Okay. Okay. Okay, number three. How can you increase your patient? Well, I don't know. In my case, huh? I I work with kids twice in a week, Fridays and Sundays. So I think that's it. one reason why I, I have patience because I don't, I don't like feel sad as a kid. Carlos, you ask some question to Eulisa? Uh, for mechanical, Eulisa, uh, for machine, industrial, or car? Uh, a specific uh, machine on the... Uh, how do you say fabric? Okay. I forgot. How? Factory is fabric. Uh, yes, yes, factory. A different uh, factory. I work uh, in the factory and I like, I work like mechanic, but a specific industrial. Okay. Like... Yeah. Okay. The third question. In this, uh, we uh, wait for you. <laughs> How can you increase your passions? Passions. Um, for me, the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, in my opinion, um, I create patient um, meditation or uh, about different uh, exercise about the mind in my opinion okay. how can you increase your patience 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 Okay, repeat after me and say pay pay chance. No patience, no patience, 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 pay, patience, patience, no pain, pay, patience, patience, patience. Okay, guys, no patience. No patient, okay. Patience. 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 Okay. Patience. Okay. Okay. Continue. Continue, guys. Hmm. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, the painting is the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, increase your 
patient. Your patience. Uh, uh, because uh, 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 I have problem. Uh, the big problem uh, is necessary increase increase your pension. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, only that. Okay. And the other ones? Which question are you practicing? Number three. Okay. Number three. Okay. How can we increase our patient? How? I think it's better to wait a moment before talking about the problem. Okay. Wait a moment before talking about the problem. Perfect. Mm -hmm. What else? What else can we do to improve or to increase our patience? Mm -hmm. How do you say respirar profundo? You need to. Mm -hmm. Breathe, deeply breathe, all right? In this case, that is correct. You need to breathe deeply. Mm -hmm. What else can you do? Yeah. What else? Teacher, is is necessary is necessary increase a thousand percent yes it is it is mm -hmm. all right and do you think guys do you think that you are getting more patient or impatient as you get older Patient. Patient? Okay. Do you think that you are getting patient? More patient? Yes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, scroll down. Move. The next question. Okay. Okay, let's practice number two. Okay. Do you agree that good things come to those who wait? Do you think that, that is true or not? Or not, teacher. No? No. Why? Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. It depends the moment. Oh. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, I uh, I don't know the the repairing. Uh, for example, my cell phone. Okay. I need I need a lot a, a lot a lot of patience because mm -hmm. the uh, the learning um, and practice for repairing the cell phone. For example, okay. this is necessary. Or oh, the uh, uh, oh, uh, more time, a uh, more, a uh, more, a uh, more patience. Patience. Uh, patience. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, because it's a big problem. Ian and I, I need a, a, a more time for repairing. For repairing. For repairing. Repairing. Correct. Repairing. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, all right. And what things do you think require a lot of patience? What things? ¿Qué cosas necesitan bastante paciencia? ¿Qué cosas necesitan esa paciencia? Dígame, cosas que necesiten bastante paciencia? What things? Go, go, to, the go to the bank. Go to the bank. 
Okay. That is oh, a only, only that uh, Saturday in Bank of America. I uh, it's really pay, crowded. Yes, pay the for C B. Okay. F C B. All right. Okay, so the going to the bank, the traffic. Okay, going to the bank, the traffic. What else? The traffic more the mon morning Monday. Yes. Well, today was awful, right? It was terrible. Traffic was terrible today. That is true. Go to the east. Go to east. <laughs> okay. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. All right. So, well, let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let me close all the rooms. Yes, go back. Let's go back. Okay. All right, so let's wait for the other ones to, to connect, okay? Let's wait for, okay. Nelson, can you please tell us what things do you think require a lot of patience? Okay, for example, um, dismantle computers? Yes. Okay. Or another machine? Okay. What else? Um, maybe when you create uh, the project, the plan to the project. Okay. Yes, could be. Yeah, yes. that is true. Okay. Um, let me see. Rafael, what things do you think require a lot of patience? Um, I think uh, be patient with the other peoples, the other people. The other people, <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so people. Because, yes, because uh, understand uh, anybody is more, I think is the one of the things more difficult to do because you, are focus in you and maybe you want be polite with the other person mm -hmm. okay so you are a bad boy rafa <laughs> i agree okay <laughs> good, but the people uh, no quiere. <laughs> Doesn't. Okay. They don't want, right? Okay. Guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. <clears throat> Sharing my screen. Let me. All right. So, Ana Lorena. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia. Present. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer. Present. Carlos Alberto Domínguez. I'm here. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo. Well, he hasn't connected. Cesar Homero Amaya. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Yes, thank you, Edwin. Eulice Torres. Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemí. Fátima, Glenda Toledo, José Salvador. I'm here. Hosman Atilio. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lizette Sánchez. Karen. Present, Thank you. 
Okay. Catherine Indira, Marlon Oswaldo, Nelson Alberto. I'm here. Rafael Alexander. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you. Raul Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen. Rosa. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena. Present. Thank you. Walter David. Wilbur. Alberto. Present. Thank you. And Jancy Azucena. Yeah, Jancy. She hasn't connected. All right, guys, let's continue. We still have something uh, else to cover today and we are going to start talking about training, okay? So, but first we are going to cover the following information. All right, guys, so we have this adjective, which is diplomatic, yeah? What is diplomatic? Uh, Raul, help us read in the definition, please. Uh, diplomatic. Begin skillful and careful in the way that you express your thoughts and ideas in difficult in difficult situations. Okay, yes. Guys, being skillful with a lot of skills, right? And careful in the way that you express what your thoughts in ideas, in difficult situations. That is diplomatic. Are you a diplomatic person? Yes or no? Or it depends, teacher. This depends the situation. It depends on the situation. Now, mm -hmm. in which situations do you think you might need to be diplomatic? In which situations? Maybe when you uh, speak uh, when, with older people. Okay, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What else? When you speak with your managers. When you speak with managers, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. In which situations have you been in when you have needed to be diplomatic? Things that you have passed, right? So that you have passed, in which you needed to be diplomatic. In general, in the interviews. Correct, on interviews, that is correct. Also guys, with your clients, right? With your clients. Mm -hmm. A customer service is very important. Because... Yes, in customer service, this is very important. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, guys. So now let's move and we're going to start with vocabulary. So we have from one to eight adjectives. Okay, vocabulary for you. We have tactful direct, dishonest, superficial, misleading, uh -huh, persuasive, encouraging, and supportive. Mm -hmm. So we have eight, eight um, adjectives right there. Okay, guys, what is the meaning of tactful? What is it? What is tactful? Mm -hmm. Tactful guys is a, a person that is discreto. Discreto contacto. A tactful person. Are you a tactful person? Una persona discreta, una persona contacto. 
when you speak. Yeah. Maybe letter B. Letter B. Okay, that is correct. It is going to be letter B. And what is letter B, Anna? Saying and doing things that are aware of other people's feelings. Yes, pronunciation, doing, okay? Doing. Doing. Direct. If you are direct, the last. you are yes. direct, right? It is saying exactly what you mean. You are direct. You are straightforward, right? You are really franco, right? What about dishonest? Letter G. Letter G, dishonest? Mm, let me see. No, maybe. Letter D. Letter D. And what is letter D, Nelson? Acting or speaking in a way that is lying to people. Correct. Yes. What about number four? Superficial. Uh huh. Letter F. Correct. And what is letter F, Susana? Acting, acting in a way that looks to be something that it isn't. Correct. Misleading. What is misleading? The information is misleading. Sometimes, right? Engañoso, erróneo, negative. Engañoso, erróneo, misleading, confuso, algo que sometimes uh, I would say that some advertising could be misleading. Letter G. Okay. Letter G. G. Perfect. Mm -hmm. When people want to sell something, sometimes they provide misleading information. Mm -hmm. What about persuasive? Letter, Letter e. e. Letter E. Yes. So persuasive is a person that is convincente. Are you a persuasive person, convincent? Maybe. Maybe, all right, maybe. In some okay. case. Yes, easily able to make people do or believe things. That is a positive trait, okay? It could be positive, but sometimes could be negative as well. Encouraging, what is encouraging? Mm -hmm. Alentador is a person that is always um, encouraging you. Letter C. 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 Yes. And it is giving people the feeling that they can be successful. Yeah. You are encouraging others, right? So you are an encouraging uh, person. Supportive. Letter A. A, A. Right. So, and it is giving people giving help and care in a particular situation, all right? So giving help to people, yeah? And care in a particular situation. Okay, very good, guys. Let's move, okay, let's move. Uh, let me clear this. Okay, let's move. Okay, now guys, look at this. And this is very important. This is very important because uh, sometimes and this is something that I'm going to say um, right now, that sometimes whenever we want to ask somebody, okay, probably you didn't understand what the other person said, you don't, you don't need to say, uh, like, for example, what? Or uh, like, like that, right? No, because you need to be diplomatic. How can you ask? when you didn't understand something? How can you ask? You, you won't say, uh, what? No, right? Mm -mm. You should say, or you should ask, sorry? Excuse me? Excuse me? What did you say? That is being diplomatic, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we have some examples with some sentences. 
if I say, I thought your presentation was terrible, that is not uh, something good, right? Direct. It is so direct. It is rude. If I say, I thought your presentation was terrible, right? So that is really rude. How can we make that diplomatic? <laughs> Saying the same thing, but in a different way. I thought your presentation was not great. Mm -hmm. Leaving your computer at home was terrible. Leaving your computer at home wasn't clever. Yeah, you're saying the same thing, but in, in, with different words, right? Mm -hmm. So we have those three examples. Number one, your report was difficult to understand. I think you forgot to check your spelling and grammar. That is direct. That is not diplomatic. How can you improve that idea to sound better, to sound diplomatic? Mm -hmm. Any idea? You could be checked before send your task. Okay. Please check before sending your task. All right. Could be. Something in here okay. smells awful. Can you clean up here, please? Can you clean up here, please? Very good. Yes. Uh -huh. Number three, I think he's very rude. Maybe I think he can be more polite. Perfect. Excellent. Very good. So you see? Mm -hmm. Then we also have a short email. Yeah. And it says, Dear Jim, okay, I'm writing because I'm disappointed with your behavior in the office. Really direct. I'm writing because I'm disappointed with your behavior in the office. You are rude when you talk to your colleagues and you are late every day. Direct, right? You didn't finish your report last week. Anita also told me that you don't clean up after yourself in the kitchen. You leave your mess for other people to clean up. Direct, very direct. If you continue like this, I will have to talk to human resources and we will have to fire you. That is really direct. It sounds rude, right? I mean, it sounds kind of rude. Mm -hmm. So how can we um create a different email with different words mm -hmm. so we have an example right here okay and we have possible uh answers from the previous ones right your report wasn't easy to understand yeah or for this one right your report was difficult to understand. We can say your report wasn't easy to understand. Something in here doesn't smell good. We can create negatives, right? And I don't think he's very friendly. Instead of saying, 
Oh, instead of saying, I think he's very rude. Instead of saying this, we can say, I don't think she is very friendly. Now, um, I need one volunteer to read the email with the correct um, vocabulary or expressions. Who wants to read? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Raul. Yes. Me? Yes, please. Yes, right. I tried. <laughs> uh, dear Jim, mm -hmm. I am writing because I'm not placed, placed with your with your behavior in the office. Mm -hmm. You aren't polite when you talk to your college. And it seems that you aren't on time every day. As far as I know, you didn't finish your report last week. I was also told that apparently you don't clean up after yourself in the kitchen. It seems your mess is left off. Your your mess is left for others to clean up. If you continue like this, I, I will have to talk to human resource and we have may have to, ha to fire you. To fire you. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is a possible uh, answer, right? To make it more diplomatic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, do you remember that we studied passive voice with a simple present tense? And look at this sentence. Look at this sentence. It says, you leave your mess for other people to clean up. Look at that sentence, okay? This is simple present. You leave your mess for other people to clean up. Let's take a look at this. It says, it seems your mess is left. This is passive voice in simple present. Mm -hmm. This is passive voice. So passive voice is to also be more diplomatic. We can use passive voice to make things better, to say things in a different way, to not sound rude. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's take the listening quiz. Let's move to the listening practice. Okay, let's move to the listening practice. If you are uh, in the spreadsheet, let's open the listening practice, listening quiz. And if not, I will send it right here. Okay, so we are going to take the listening. And after the listening, we are going to take the um, adjectives ending ed and ing quiz to check if you still remember okay about what we covered last week so okay there you go let me know once you are ready so i can play the audio i am in perfect two excellent this um this is really easy guys it's not that difficult Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. I'm going to play it three times. Okay. I'm going to play it three times. Just in case. Sure. Can you can you send again the link, please? The link? Yes, of course. Yes. Thank you. There you go. Mm. Yes. I'm going to turn now. My camera. Teacher. Okay. Um, the listening is about I the girl. No problem. I'm sorry. Um, Eulise. Sorry, Susana. Give me one second. Eulise. Uh, the listening is about the girl. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Ok. Eh, Susana? I have a problem because I don't, I can't see the link. See. I don't see the messages. The, the messages? Chat. The okay. messages in the chat. Mm, and if I send it direct to you? It could be. I am, I'm in the cell phone. I think that's the problem. Um, and what about if I send it to the WhatsApp? I'm, I'm in. You're in? Okay. Yes. Thank Perfect. you. All right. Awesome. Um, okay, guys. So let me just make sure. Um, okay, so here we go. Today I'm interviewing nine-year-old Alex about her feelings on how people can help save the environment. So Alex, how can we save the environment? By saving water. Well, how can we do that? By not using too much water when we wash dishes, take a bath, and when we do other things like watering the plants outside. Oh, I think I can do that. What else? When drinking or eating something outside, you should keep the garbage until you find the trash can to put it in, because littering makes our planet dirty. Do you like seeing trash all over the ground? No, I don't. Do you have any final suggestions? Yes, we shouldn't waste paper because trees are being cut down to make the paper. By recycling paper, we save the forest where animals live. So how can children recycle paper? I mean, every day. Well, for example, when I was in kindergarten, I used to save the newspapers so that I could make things out of them, like paper trees, instead of just throwing them away. Now the children in our neighborhood collect newspapers once a month to take them to our recycling center. That's great. Well, thanks, Alex, for your ideas. Okay. Let's play it one more time. Today I'm interviewing nine-year-old Alex about her feelings on how people can help save the environment. So, Alex, how can we save the environment? By saving water. Well, how can we do that? By not using too much water when we wash dishes, take a bath, and when we do other things like watering the plants outside. Oh, I think I can do that. What else? When drinking or eating something outside, you should keep the garbage until you find the trash can to put it in, because littering makes our planet dirty. Do you like seeing trash all over the ground? No, I don't. Do you have any final suggestions? Yes, we shouldn't waste paper because trees are being cut down to make the paper. By recycling paper, we save the forest where animals live. So how can children recycle paper? I mean, every day. Well, for example, when I was in kindergarten, I used to save the newspapers so that I could make things out of them, like paper trees, instead of just throwing them away. Now the children in our neighborhood collect newspapers once a month to take them to our recycling center. That's great. Well, thanks, Alex, for your ideas. Okay. The last time, okay, the last time. Here we go. Today I'm interviewing nine-year-old Alex about her feelings on how people can help save the environment. So, Alex, how can we save the environment? By saving water. Well, how can we do that? By not using too much water when we wash dishes, take a bath, and when we do other things like watering the plants outside. Oh, I think I can do that. What else? When drinking or eating something outside, you should keep the garbage until you find the trash can to put it in, because littering makes our planet dirty. Do you like seeing trash all over the ground? No, I don't. Do you have any final suggestions? Yes, we shouldn't waste paper because trees are being cut down to make the paper. By recycling paper, we save the forest where animals live. So how can children recycle paper? I mean, every day. Well, for example, when I was in kindergarten, I used to save the newspapers so that I could make things out of them, like paper trees, instead of just throwing them away. Now the children in our neighborhood collect newspapers once a month to take them to our recycling center. That's great. Well, thanks, Alex, for your ideas. Okay. All right, ready? Ready. Okay. Let me see. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Eh, okay, I got Edwin. Okay, excellent. Very good. Um, Mm -hmm. All right, I can see that some of you got 100, okay, some of you got 80. Okay, all right. Well, now let's take the um, grammar quiz, the one that says adjectives ending in ed and ing, that one, okay. Let's say that one. This is about the class that we covered last week. And the passcode is English. Think about your answer, guys. Think about your answer. And well, let's see. Okay. So once you are done, let me know because I'm going to move you to a different room so you can practice uh, the speaking time but you are going to practice the speaking time about um, the information that we just have covered, all right? So those four questions. But right now, take the grammar quiz, okay? Let me know once you are done. Say done, okay? Me avisa cuando ya terminado para moverlo de salón. Sorry, teacher. Uh, the the internet, internet uh, keep me out. Okay, you okay? You couldn't listen to the instructions, but I'm I'm going to send the the link, okay? Because we are taking the other exam, the one that says adjectives ending in ed and ing. And the password is grammar. No, it is English in capital. English. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank Perfect. you. All right. You're welcome.
Okay, guys, um, the ones that already finished, I will move you to a different room so you can practice the speaking questions, okay? We have four. So let me see. Thank you, Wilbur. Same, Edwin as well. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, I can enter the link. Why not? Creo que tenía mal internet, no podía, no me dejaba entrar. No podía. Vaya, se lo voy a reenviar. Vaya, mire, ahora sí puede. Y me dice. Um, I can see it. I can't. Ok. Mire ahora. Yes. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got disconnected, Rafael. Yeah, I have a problem with the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, Susana. Um, Okay. Okay, I'm missing some of you. So let me go ahead and supervise and monitor the, the guys, okay? Uh, continue working on the exam. If you are taking the exam, continue working on the exam, okay? I'll be back in a minute. Let me see. Four person. Okay, let's start. Right. Okay, the first question says, in what situation have you had to be tactful? Tactful. Tactful. Mm -hmm. Tactful. Okay. Uh, Raul? Uh, maybe in my case, when I talk with someone that he think different, and and maybe I I try to respect mm -hmm. your his opinion, opinion. Mm -hmm. and but I try to respect, but I don't share with share his his truths. Sus pensamientos, okay. bueno, así. Ok, Raúl. His, his thoughts. His thoughts. 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 Ok. okay. In, in this case, I try to, to be tactful with respectful. 
<laughs> okay, with respect, okay? Okay, Susana? Well, I don't know. I, I think for me it's very difficult to be tactful because I am very direct. Mm -hmm. okay, so when I got my my opinion mm -hmm. mm, but but I try be tactful mm -hmm. when I'm with my super supervisor okay or with the other persons mm -hmm. mm, even when I'm I'm with a kid mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's when I am the more tactful. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Rafael, I'm <laughs> ah, sorry. Uh, when you give uh, a feedback mm -hmm. to co workers. Yes, that is correct. You need to be tactful. And you Anna? In my case, uh, maybe with my boss, mm -hmm. I try to accept the different opinions, uh, but always I give my own opinion about uh, the topic. Mm -hmm. And maybe for me, uh, when I talk with older people is important for me and my boss, maybe. Mm -hmm. Only that. What is what is the meaning of feedback? Retroalimentación. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, um, yes, number two. Are you usually direct? <laughs> When you ask for something in your own language, I think that well, Susana says that she is direct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the other ones, Anna, what about you? In my case, I try to uh, be direct, direct, but always I try to uh, respect the other people. Maybe I try to be direct, but uh, with Tactful. <laughs> it's a mixture about two quality, maybe. Okay. Like a balance. Okay. Yes. All right. What about you, Raul and Rafael? I mean, are you usually direct when you ask for something? Mm. No. Maybe. No, I, I think <laughs> no. Because... I will uh, well, well when someone let me see mm -hmm. um, for example when someone ask me asking me for anything mm -hmm. and I think he or she uh, need a uh, son of hell and mm -hmm. I would like to to help them mm -hmm. like as me I would like to, to someone explain me something mm -hmm. so in the, for for that when I when I try to maybe uh, explain something I try to to be uh, different or be polite. Polite, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, Rafael? Are you usually direct? I want to say you that I am a polite person, but the, the truth is I am a... Uh, directly 
Mm -hmm. uh, in my case, if I I'm not be directly the the people don't say the things mm -hmm. or the activities who I I design I design no sé cómo se dice designado designado. Mm, I designate. I designate. Mm -hmm. Somebody. Yeah, in the in, in the majority the people don't don't do it the the the, the activities and I need to be uh, just a little direct with these people. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, in some cases, being direct is necessary. In some cases. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, guys, let's go back because it's a time for us, okay, to go. Let's go to the main room. Okay. 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 This meeting is being recorded. Okay. So let's see, guys. Um, all right. So just because of the time, right? Just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Uh, let's see. I think that you all, let me see if someone is missing. I think I know we are all. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for being responsible and connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay. Hope you have a great night. Take care and rest. All right. Good night. You. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.